hello guys and welcome to my second video on mod pack tutorials this is going to be how to make a server for free yes for free a lot of people don't know how to do this and i think i'm probably the first youtuber to ever show this so basically you would want a mod pack um that has server files so that see server downloads so your people who are going to play this mod pack can actually create their own servers and play with friends and that is what we're going to try to achieve today because it's kind of hard, but I'm going to walk you through it. Um, this is the mod pack I created. It's called Spicy Vanilla Plus. It's for people who like vanilla, but with a little bit more. Really amazing. Check it out. I've been working on it like nonstop. I know I just uploaded yesterday, so it doesn't have that many runs. Uh, this is my first mod pack I made. It doesn't work anymore. And then this is the one we made in the previous video. Sorry, not this one. Um, let me YouTube. Keep it 13. It's this one, test two, sorry. So this is the one we made in the previous video. And what I need you to do after you made the mod pack is to actually make sure it works. So please play it. This will generate some files we need. So this is why um, in the previous video, we just added the neat. Um, the neat uh, mod. So now we will we will check it out. Um, survival, yeah, creative. So make sure it works. All the mods you want it are running, and that way we can grab those files that we need. So this is building the terrain. And then we just added the neat fold, the neat mod where some, there it is. So neat is working and so yeah. Okay. Once that ran, we can go ahead and create a new folder. So we're going to have, this is the YouTube test. So we're going to have YouTube test server folder. Perfect. This is kind of like a hard one, so bear with me. Um, we're going to have to do three folders again. Well, you don't need three folders. Yeah, you need two, I think. So it's going to be mods. It's going to be config. And the rest will come. So for the mods folder, I need you to grab your mod pack, the one we made. Grab the mods, copy that, Ooh. copy, paste that. So every time you update your mod, you will need to update the server too. Just keep that in mind. It's harder, it's longer, but it pays off. People want to play mod packs that they can play with friends in a server. So yeah. So once you copy all your mods, we're going to go here. We're going to type run. We're going to type uh, percent app data percent. You're going to hop in here. You're going to find tech it, technic. Sorry. You're going to click mod packs. You're going to find the mod pack that you installed that you made, which is the test two. You're going to grab the config. You see this? We're going to paste it in the config file. So copy. Paste. Perfect. So that those are done. Boom, boom. We can close all this. Now you're going to go to the first link. Sorry, the second link, because the first link will be my discord. If you need any help, um, there's a lot of players here. We help each other build servers and stuff like that. We find friends to talk to. So this is my mod pack. And then we have this channel that you can type in the questions you might have for this so I can help you. Or just keep it in the description, the comments, sorry. So this is what you're going to do next. You're going to find that same version of Forge that you used to build with your, that you used to build the the mod pack we built in the, in the first video. So in the first video, we used 1.12 because it is the most supported with most mods, Minecraft version. So we're going to click download the installer. Do not click this again. Um, we're going to wait five seconds. So you're going to skip it. You're going to keep. 
And while that's working, I want you to go to your downloads. It's downloading. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna wait, that's yeah, that's right now. So we're gonna double click it. And this is where people get it wrong. We need to install the server. And that we need to go to your folder that we made, which is this. So you click OK. It's going to start creating the files. See, there's already two files. So this will take some time. And the main problem with this thing is that I didn't find any YouTuber doing this, but basically it tells me that if I double click forge, it should run my server, right? But what's going to happen is that this is going to run at one gigabyte and that's not enough for a Minecraft server. One gigabyte, you're going to get lag like crazy. So what I'm going to do for you, see it's successfully perfect. That's amazing. So here's the Minecraft and the Forge. So everything's done for you there. Um, what I'm going to do for you is I'm, we're going to create a new text document. All right. And I'm going to grab it from this because I don't have the actual. Where's my server? No. Mm, okay. Super Vanilla Plus. I'm going to grab it from here because... I don't have the the actual th this here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in the description so you have it. So my thought was, if I double click this, it'll start running with one gig. It's going to run super slow. It took forever to create the world. I don't want that. So we're going to create a tech brand new document. We're going to paste this, what we grabbed. What you're going to do next is you're going to from here to here. You're going to delete that. You're going to click here, rename. You're going to copy. Don't touch it. Don't change it. Right here, you're going to paste it. I know it's the same number. I'm just showing you how to do it. Here's how many gigs you would give it. My computer has 16. I can afford to give it four or more. Please be careful. Um, then you would click save as, right? You'd put run, run, dot, bat. And then you click all files, save. Now we can delete this. You would click run. There it goes. So now it says you need to answer the EULA. So we open this, we change this to true controls S or save. And then we run it again. So now it's going to run do all these things it's got to do. It's creating all the files, the world, the band IPs, everything, the band players, blah, blah, blah. It's going to say done. See, it ran super quickly because I gave it four gigs. This is what you need to know. Once you have actually finished this, <laughs> we're going to have to. Um, you're going to have to. You can test it. So the way you find out your IP, you're going to go to. Uh, command prompt. You're going to type in IP config right here. IPv4. That's your server IP. So write it down. Let me write it down. I'm going to take a picture of it actually with my phone. That's your personal one. You can't give this to a friend. He won't be able to connect. I have other videos on how to make it connect to friends, but that's your personal one. So you click play. And then this is running perfect. And I also gave four gigs on my forge. So it runs faster. You will need to watch the previous video on how to do that. It's towards the end. So you would click add server 192.168 again just put in your IPv4 
then done. And there it is. If you see a green check mark, it means everything's compatible with the server. And you just join. See, it said Kika 13 joined. And now I'm playing in my own server and it's loading in. Wow, what a great spawn. But yeah, perfect. So to stop the server, you would type stop. We'll stop, save the chunks, perfect. Now, what, I'm, what we came here to teach you is, and you can do this with any mod. Basically, you would download the mod, you would go to the app data, copy the mod files and the config files, and then do the forge thing. And then you can create servers for any mod um the same with the mod you create it's the same process so to create a server that you can upload to your technic so more players play it because it's going to say hey this this has a server pack right so you check that the way you would do that is you would delete these folders you would delete the ops you would delete the server the whitelist all that you would keep the run the eula the 1.12 and the world you would delete because you want people to generate their own world so when they click run it'll create the new world uh and you can even no we're just gonna leave it like that so what you do is you close that you archive it you put it at zip perfect then once you have that zip you're gonna have to go to Dropbox this is what you would do when you want to update your server too so this created the YouTube test server we would put this here it will update take some time and then you're gonna copy you're gonna copy that link that's gonna show you so if you want to update your mod pack which I showed in the previous video you would need to copy also the you need to do the same thing in here so you need to put in the new mods put in the new config files and then compress it all and submit it to this to Dropbox and then share copy link and then you would just paste that in with a one in the end update and just like that our private our made uh, mod pack has a server file that people can download and create their own server and you can also create a server for you to play with friends so and you can also create servers for any mod pack that doesn't have a mod file a server file so just thank you guys for watching again if you have any questions make sure you join the discord we have a lot of members um and you'll be able to get some help here so please uh let me know if you have any questions thank you so much uh subscribe like for the algorithm comment do everything thank you so much uh thank you for watching Bye bye